objective has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Be safe out there.
Thank you. Have you seen it? Yes. Of course. I will let the others on watch know. Okay. to listen to it more closely. What lovely music. Where is it coming from? Let's go and find out. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing here? Lord Zheng Liao, there are suspicious people around the Imperial Palace. Let you pass, no matter how many of you there may be. Finished. I have failed in my duty to guard the gate. Please forgive me, Master Dong Zhuo. All right, nice going, cousin. 
You, you're one of Cao Cao's men. So, Cao Cao, you wish to make an enemy of me, do you? Lu Bu, cut this imbecile to shreds. Hmph. Huh. What a pathetic charade. I will end this foolishness now. So, that's Lu Bu. I doubt I'll be able to deal with Dong Zhuo after facing him. Forgive me, Cao Cao. I am left with little choice but to retreat. This can't be. You're finished! I won't forget this. Excellent, Shaho This can't be. It seems that Dong Zhuo constantly has Lu Bu by his side. He must place great trust in him. Either that, or he simply mistrusts everybody else. As long as Lu Bu is with him, it's going to be rather difficult to assassinate Dong Zhuo. We can always find another way to deal with Dong Zhuo. Although, we should worry more about the fact that he's currently the one targeting us. It seems he's no longer in Luo Yang. What is our next move, Cao Cao? Our attempts at a more subtle approach have failed. So now, we have no choice but to try and amass the strength we require to overcome him. Strength? So you mean raise an army? In that case, we should probably head to Qiao first. I get it. If we're raising an army, Xiao is the perfect place for it, since we're where our lord is from. There must be numerous people there willing to follow him. Yes. We leave for Xiao immediately.
Welcome back, everybody. While you were gone, we received a letter from Master Yuan Xiao. From Yuan Xiao? Let me see it. The traitor Deng Zhuo must be punished. We call upon those who wish to put an end to his tyranny to assemble in Luoyang. <laughs> this is quite the call to arms. It doesn't entirely seem like a move Yuan Xiao would make, though. Cao Cao, is this what you meant when you said you'd take care of things? Indeed. Once my move failed, I knew Dong Zhuo's gaze would turn towards Yuan Shao, due to our friendship. As such, Yuan Shao would be forced to make a move. I simply gave him a gentle push to ensure he didn't back out. With his family's reputation, it is easy for him to send out the call to arms to take down Dong Zhuo. Huh. It seems Yuan Shao actually did the honorable thing for a change. I had no idea you were thinking so far beyond the failed assassination attempt. You're really something, my lord. However, we cannot rest just yet. Dong Zhuo will resort to bribes and threats to drive a wedge between the coalition members. We must end this before that happens. Okay. I see how we must proceed forward. But what are you planning to do about your army? In addition to troops, you're going to need equipment and supplies. I can sell my personal effects in order to raise the funds we require. I barely stay here as it is. You're really committing to this, my lord. There's no turning back now. <laughs> 